So what's up, everyone? Y'all already know how I like to come. So are y'all ready to get right or get left? So listen, and today's message is really gonna speak to whether you wanna be right, get right, or be left behind. So let's get into this message. So I hope everyone is having a great day. Let me personally always say that. I hope everyone is having a great and a blessed day. But again, let's get into this message. So, my question is, who are you letting lead your life? Like, who are you being led by in life? Is it the way of the world? Is it society? Is it social media? Is it man overall, people, right? Or is it God? Because whether, whichever one it is will determine how easy, how much better, just how understanding of your life and you and your struggles really become see because whenever you lead let god lead you what he says is he will make all your crooked paths straight and it also says the steps of a good man or our order so what does this mean like of course in life we all go through things right but if you let god lead you the road that you continue to go down will eventually straighten up. All the mess that you used to make, all the bad things you used to do, all the, the, the struggles that you had, you will begin to understand those a little more. And again, you will begin to walk down a path. You will begin to live a life that is more straight and forward and onto something for real, like a destiny. You, you will have a destiny, a purpose, a place to get to, right? Versus whenever you are led by society, by man, by social media, what the world says you should do, how what the world says you should look like, what the world says you should dress, what the world says you can and what you can't do. You begin to have lived life all over the place. You know, you don't know what some days, whether you're coming or whether you're going, you know, you believe you, you live a life of destruction nine times out of 10, you live a life falling victim to the enemy for real. You, you know, a lot of people go through life. What's that uh, term? A lot of people like to use, Oh, Jesus, take the will. Jesus, take the will. But ask yourself for real. Are you really letting Jesus take the will on your life for real, for real? Because a lot of you need to really be letting Jesus take the wheel on your life. You know, instead of just saying that phrase for like whatever the situation may be at the time for you to be saying what you're saying. But listen, let him take the wheel to your life. Because what's going to happen is a lot of times, nine times out of ten, when you're being led by the world and by man, you know, you're going to be living the life going down a path. You know what I'm saying? That's leading to dead ends. That's, you know, causing you to take wrong turns. That's causing you to miss stop signs, y'all. And when I say miss stop signs, I mean miss destinies where God is telling you, okay, hey, this is your place. This is where I need you to be right now. You miss your destiny. You miss your blessings whenever you are on the wrong path. So you need, your path needs to be rerouted. And let me tell you how God works now. Whenever you begin to let God lead you, he will eventually in his own ways, you know, reroute us. Take, let us take a detour from time to time. But guess what? We will ultimately always get to our desired destiny. But it's only going to happen if you let God lead you. One of my favorite scriptures are, is the Lord directs my steps. He delights in every detail of my life though i struggle i will never fall for the lord the lord holds me up by the hand i can't remember the let me see if i can get what is this i think it's psalms it's in psalms i believe but either way go look at it i'm gonna say it again so y'all can you know just speak it and find it the lord directs my steps he delights in every detail of my life though i struggle I will never fall for the Lord holds me up by the hand. Listen, y'all, that scripture speaks for itself for real. When you let the Lord direct your steps, when you do 
the things that he tells you to do, I promise you, your life will become so much not only clearer, you know, but smoother and better because you are less stressed. You are you are so confident in what he has told you and the path that you're going down on that you are able, you are able, you guys, to do what he's called you to do. phone call sorry you are able to do everything that he's called you to do and life begins to flow everything begins to make sense everything be begins to be put together like a puzzle all because you let the lord in your life and you let him guide you and lead you so this is why i say who are you being led by because if you want to eventually fall victim to the enemy and to the, and lead and lead your life well, well, well into destruction, then you're gonna keep doing what you're doing, which is being led by man and society and social media. But I need for you guys to come to the other side, which is being led by God, where there is promises, where there is breakthroughs, where there is miracles, where there is blessings, where there is destinations, where there is purpose. This is the life, the life when you're really living life for real. This is the life I know that we all desire to have, a life, a life of abundance and success along with all the other things that I just said. It's so much prosperity in God and, and walking with God and letting God into your life. I promise you. So again, doing this as well will lead you to be right, get right, and not be left behind. So again, as always, y'all, on this beautiful Thursday, always remember to be motivated and stay inspired.